Hi, I'm Allie. Please join me for seeing and learning how to make these little post and chain earrings. They're really fun because you're not going to lose your back or you can take them on and off and make them interchangeable, especially if you're going on a trip. So I'm about to give you a bunch of different ideas to create these chain and post earrings. So to show the concept before we get into how to create, these are post earrings, meaning they're going to be an earring that has a post back that goes through your ear and needs a back to the earring. So we all have those cases where we can't find the earring back and also it kind of gives it a modern look. So here you can see this Potomac chain with some of our pearls and crystals hanging down, really cute little rose to the front and then this hangs around the earring. So I wanted to show kind of how it goes in. My post goes in, the back goes on, and then it dangles. And it's a really cool effect when you turn your head to the side of that chain hanging on the side. So the advantage is if you have a cool post like this, you're not going to lose the back of your earrings and it just gives a modern kind of flair to that look. The other thing that you can do is actually make it interchangeable. So I have a post here that doesn't have a loop on it, even if it did, I could cut it off. And I have my purple chain. If I want to, I can keep a post open for that back of the chain and just grab my ear nut or my little clutch back and put that on. Or I can have it, if I want to get fancy for the day, to put the first loop of my chain onto my ball post here. And then I have my earring that I can put the loop through in the back for a completely different look. So it's kind of fun like night and day set of earrings that you can have your daytime look, maybe you're exercising and then you're getting ready for nighttime, just switching out the back of the earring and it gives a cool looping effect around from the front to the back of the earring. So how are we going to create these? We're gonna start with some beads and I'm using some ball pins. So I have ball pins here. These are two inch, you can certainly use shorter ones. And I'm determining which beads I want to use for my chain. You also want a chain that's not too heavy and open enough that you can put the different lengths of your ball pins, which are about 21 gauge in. So I have two different styles of chain that I used, a bigger one for my purple and gold and a smaller, finer one when working with my white pearls and crystals. In addition to my ball pins, again, I have my ear wires, whether or not I'm using the post little flower or even just the plain ball post. And then I have my collections of my pearls and my Potomac pearls or Potomac crystals rather. So the first thing we're going to do is make a bunch of our little dangles here and learn a little bit of wire working. So you're gonna to wanna to have a round nose, a wire cutter and a chain nose pliers that we're gonna be working with. And I'm gonna show you how to do this simple turnover link. We're gonna cut our piece of chain and we're gonna get ready to create our chain and post earring. So step number one is going to be to put all of your beads onto your head pins because that's what's going to create the little color effect. Now, honestly, you can do this without and just pick up a cool piece of chain and make it look really sleek as well. But I'm going to add some of my pearls and my crystals to the front. I already have a couple here that I've done and I've added the rest to my head pins. I have a round nose pliers here to make round loops and my wire cutter. The first thing I'm gonna do is keep it really, really simple and just take my round nose pliers. I wanna make the loops fairly close. So rather than bending over with a chain nose pliers, I'm just gonna hold with my finger here, take my pliers and I'm going to go slightly above the pearl and bend back 90 degrees. When I bend back 90 degrees, it creates a little bend in the wire. And then I'm gonna go over top of the round nose pliers till it hits the pearl on the other side. Switching from the top jaw to the bottom jaw, just doing a little rotation of the hand, from the top jaw to the bottom jaw of those round nose pliers, I close it a little bit more and my loop is done. So we'll do that again. This time I'm gonna bring the camera back a little bit so that way you can see the angle of the full hands here. And ready, so grabbing a little bit above the crystal there, bending back, seeing how it's bent back over the top, hits the bead, twist that wrist, and bend that loop over. Once you get all of these done, it's time to go in and to cut that loop. So we're gonna bring it back close here so you can see that loop getting cut. 
to bring that back close, you're gonna cut to the interior of the loop. So if you have the loop here and the wire is kind of crossing over top, what we're gonna do is cut right before the section where that wire crosses. So I'm gonna go in here, it looks like I'm getting ready to cut the loop off, but I'm not. I'm cutting on the interior, cut off the wire. That's going to give you a little tail. Keep that piece of wire, we can utilize it. And then you have your little loop here. It's not going to be completely closed, which is fine because we're going to go in and open it. So I'm going to go in here and create the loops on the other pieces, and then I'll show you how we are going to open them up and attach them to our chain. So once you have all your little head pins there with the little loops on them, we're going to open up all of these eye pins and attach them to our chain. Usually I'll do this at the exact same time, doing one earring and the other earring, and making sure I have my 14 links of chain. You can see you can choose how long you want your piece to be. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. It's completely up to you. You can hang it, have it hang down to your shoulder if you want. So what I'm going to do is mimic what I did here, keeping the top loop open, knowing that I'm going to make this interchangeable to come off and on that post earring. I'm skipping that and then I'm gonna go in and start hanging my little jump ring or my little um, eye pins onto my chain. When you open an eye pin, you want to make sure that you are not pulling back on that loop. So if my hand's the loop here, I don't wanna pull it back. What I wanna do is shift it to the side. So that way from the bird's eye view, that is still lined up. I just need to push it back into place. So when I'm holding, I hold right near the end of the wire and I kind of pull it to the side, turning it open rather than pulling back. And I'm gonna link this onto my first link of my chain. From here then, I'm gonna close it up and there I have it. Next, I'm gonna continue with the design, adding one of my beads to each one of my chains. So if you want to be particular and keep it to one side of the chain, you totally can, but honestly, nobody's gonna notice on your ear. So I'm going in here, pushing that one to the side, going to the next little loop, adding on my little loop with my crystal, and going back in with my chain nose pliers there, and just closing it up, making sure when I close that that loop is nice and tight. And I'm going to continue on with the design, adding them on to the different links of chain, just picking up the two colors of little three millimeter pearls and the two colors of three millimeter crystal that I'm going to be utilizing along the piece. Once you're done with the chain portion, it is time to attach your ear wire onto the chain so that way you can put your earring on or take it off. So to do so, we are going to be utilizing the extra little wire from our two millimeter, uh, from our two inch rather hooks. If you want to, you can also use a jump ring, that's fine, but we're gonna make a little figure eight hook here and put a pearl at the end and then attach to the clasp or to attach to the um, earring nut. So to do so, what we're going to do is grab a piece of our wire and we are going to hold that wire scrap at the very, very end where we can see the wire, but we can't feel it coming out the top. And we're gonna roll it over and make the littlest tiny loop that we can. From there, I'm gonna put it back in my round nose pliers and make it into a formal eye pin with the wire kind of coming straight out from that loop. From here, add your pearl onto your wire and then continue on like you did, creating your little eye pins on the head pins. Go in, make your little loop. And then once that loop is made, cut off the extra wire. From here, open up that loop, attach it onto your earring. So I'm gonna close this up so you can see it and then I'm gonna flip it over so you can see how it's attached. When you have the earring nut like this, see how it has like two little loops that go on the bottom? You're just gonna to attach to one of those little loops and that attaches to here. Take your other side, open it up, attach the back of the chain to it, close it up, and your earrings are finished. So whether or not you want to wear these as the post earring just hanging down that you can take your post here and you can literally just hang that down. Nobody's gonna see that ear nut at the bottom. Make it a long one and you can put that on. You can also flip it over, hang the ear nut down that this just comes out of the back of your earring. Fun look as well. Or you can go in and attach it, put it in front of your ear, put your ball pin through or your post through, and then put your ear wire back on. 
lots of fun ideas and uses for these earrings and to create a nice kind of chandelier and then that really modern looping effect. Thanks so much for joining me in the creation of these post and chain convertible earrings, which you can wear looped up. You can wear long coming out the back. You can wear the posts by themselves. And I'm really excited to see all of the different design ideas and inspiration you get from this video. Don't forget to comment below if you haven't with more ideas to help out community members like yourself. And stay tuned for our next inspirational design.